Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robst, welcome back here to an episode of CSX Heavy Hall slash Train Sim World. I don't know, just Train Sim World, I guess. Alright, so today we're finishing up that uh, that mission, that scenario we we're working on. Looks like we got a few cars of animals back there. Or at least the cars themselves of the animal cars, but I don't know if there's actually animals in them. So we need to move this locomotive. This is a different one, it looks like. This is a... I don't know if it's going to show me here which one this is. CW44AC. Let's go ahead and climb up here. Open the door. Open the next door. Get up into the... I don't know, I always want to say conductor's seat. But it's not. Okay. Roger that. Set the headlights to bright. Now this one's a bit different. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a front headlights to bright. Back headlights to bright. There we go. Disconnect the train. Now I'm not sure. I think I need to actually get out of the train to do that. Let's go down here and let's decouple the train from these cars here. Like so. I believe I can do this from here. Why is it moving? That's funny. Let's uh, apply the brake here. I don't know why that was moving there. That was bizarre. I didn't touch anything. Alright, now we need to go to the other side. Go figure. Close the door. Down the other stairs. And a couple are locked. A couple are unlocked. Check. All right, good. And return to the cab. Sit in the engineer's seat for further instructions. We can do that. All right. Set the brakes to release. Let's go ahead and do that. Brakes are released. Let's indicate we're going to be moving in the yard here. There we go. I believe all the brakes are set to release. Reverse neutral. Forward. Power handles idle. Automatic brakes is released. Oh, full application is the independent brakes. Uh, which button is that one? There we go. Released. There we go. Where am I going to next? So, fuel shed. Where on earth is the fuel shed? Oh, um, alright. Throttle the uh, power handle gauge one. Let's get the show on the road. There we go. So we need to get over there. So we need to kind of get all the way. Well, that's a long way. Wow. It's that much longer, too, because we are... Uh, just because we <laughs> where we are. It's not too bad, though. Looks like we have two different trains here, actually. Or are they? So I, like I said before, I changed the recording down to 30 FPS just so it seems smoother, but now it seems smoother today. Must have been because I reset my computer, I don't know. Or don't have nearly as much things running in the background, which is probably part of it. Oh well, it doesn't matter now. Alright, so here's our connection up here. We can go ahead and apply the brake momentarily here. So that guy right there is the connection we need to get to. I like having a pointer. I missed that on uh, Farm Sim. All right. Minimal reduction. Let's apply the brakes here so that we stop just past the uh, the switch there. That's good. That brake's being applied. Excellent. We've come to a complete stop now. Do a little bit of sprinting back here. Because every yard man sprints around. Alright, so we need to go off to the right. So we need to change this right here. Actually, that doesn't matter really. That one really doesn't change much. That's only uh, up there. This is the one we need to change back here. So we need to go this way. Which will head us over here. I just walk the tracks because it makes it's easier to visualize where I'm going here. Uh, we need to stay, yep, that's correct, over here. 
we go off to the right. So basically, we don't we don't want to go off to the left because that's where all you just kind of you just put your trains down there. So we need to go, I think, off to the left here again. There we go. That'll take us up over here. We want to get to this little area where it kind of crosses over into the uh, the service yard, basically, which I believe is up here. Uh, I'm not sure about this particular one. Just gonna leave it, I guess, for the time being. And then we'll head up over to their service yard over here. Look, I have a quick sip of coffee while I'm at it. Yeah, this game plays way, way better than it did before. Before it was like, especially on my old computer, it was really, I couldn't run, for example. Like I couldn't do this, what I'm doing right now. It would just crap out. And I'm running at, right now, because I'm running uh, 45 FPS, which is kind of, strange considering how powerful the computer is now oh i need to get over there so i need to get onto this right here okay so i need to go up there back into there okay so let me just where am i going here over here nope like how do i get over to this track do i really have to go all the way back there i think i do okay let's uh Let's proceed down here at least. Yeah, because that doesn't go anywhere. And now it does that. Okay. This is where I wish I could just tab into my vehicle. This is what Farm Sim would be, Farm Sim would be like without tabbing. All right, let's go ahead and grab our train again here. Or our locomotive. Actually, this song by Deep Purple, I believe it is. I think it's Deep Purple. It's called Locomotive Breath, which is an interesting... An older song. I think from... Probably a lot of, well, for some of you, maybe it's, you probably know the song, some other of you, maybe not. But uh, it's an oldie, that's for sure. All right, coming up to our train here. You almost need like a little like cart or something to go back and forth. I'm pretty sure there's a way to bring up like an overview menu of uh, the switches and whatnot. At least I thought there was. All right, let's hop back in the train here. We'll hop back in this side, because you can go another side here. Yep. Open the door. Oh, I don't want to climb up the ladder. It's kind of neat that you can, though. All right. We want to go forward. Take the brake off. Throttle. Engage. Just let people know we're moving again. Front headlights are on. Back headlights are bright. Land. What else we got here? Bell off. Horn off. Alerter. Acknowledge. Oh, that's uh, if we have like something's going gone wrong. We get the alerta. All right, very nice. Okay, so we need to get over to the right again, and then over to the right once again here, because we need to go where that. Uh, little bullseye is over there that should take us off to the right once again good and I think that's in the right direction because ideally what we could do is we go into the, uh, the carousel there or whatever you call that I'm not sure what the best word is carousel is what coming to mind because I'd like to get on the track just to the right here but I can't this track runs parallel to this one for a while, it looks like. All right. Let's put the power down a little bit again. Don't want to put too much here, though. There we go. See, we need to get right there. So I think we can probably go in from the other end, I think. If we go up here, that comes back and go back up into there. Could do that, I suppose. I don't. Th I think they, I believe you could drive straight through. I mean, it's trains. You can't really do a lot of turning around easily. Go in the other direction, yes, but turning around not so much. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. So this track goes up under here, looks like, and then we can go all the way down into here. And we need the first track here, looks like. Yeah, so we need to get the furthest. Which direction is that even? 
for this North track, maybe? It's funny, one of the companies that works for John Deere is called Nortrack. What's going on with those uh, cars over there? They're just uh, doing a little dance, it looks like. Both of them are. Yeah, even inside here it is. All right, coming up to areas where we can start switching now. All right, so we need to get to, we seem to get over a couple times now. Actually, what we could do is, uh, yeah, let's do that. That's probably gonna be better. So we're gonna go over to here and back up, go forward and back up again. That's the intended way to do that, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. So throttles off. Let's put minimal reduction back on here. 50%, 60% brake. We want to stop quickly here. Do we want to go too far past our crossing is open, crossing is closed. Pressing all the farm sim keys to do things. Perfect. Let's get back out. Hop back here. So we need to get back over here. So let's go ahead and check our tracks. Uh, we actually probably need to go a bit further back actually just so we can to see where we are on this right here so take the brakes off just go back just a, mid, a smidgen here Full service brakes, excellent. Come to a stop, excellent. Just people know we're moving. All right, here we go. So we need to go, that's correct. So we need to go this way. Yeah, that's right. Go over here. We need to go off to the left here. So let's switch this out here. Good. Does this cross over to the left side? Oh, no, it doesn't. Just go straight on till morning, it looks like. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, we still need to keep going back then. Where does that go into? Yeah, this one does, but we're not on this track at all. We can't get on this track, so this is what we need to be on. So it looks like we do need to go further back. I thought there was a crossover from this side over to here. There's one this way, but not the other way, it looks like. Yeah, that's a pain. All right, we go further back then. Switch it over. Uh, so this guy right here. Yeah, keep like that. And this guy, let's just check this one here. Oh, we're at it. Yeah, that's the right way too. All right, let's hop in this side here. And a bit further back. Take our brakes off. Give it the beans. Yeah, we need to go. Wow, that sucks. I'm surprised there's no crossover from this one to the other side. There is from the other the other line right here on the right hand side of us. But in the line we're on right now, we actually can't do this. I don't know what we gained points for the, there for, but we did. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those tr trains. It might be because I saved the game and came back into it, and it looks like it just seems to be, like, if I look directly at them, they don't move as much. I don't know. So we need to get over to that right track still. Where is it crossover? Oh, it looks like there's our crossover up there. Perfect. Finally. That seems like it's forever away. Seriously. Everything in train land takes just a little bit longer. I mean, you're moving a train. You can't expect it to be like, you know, in a split second, really. All right. Let's get past this connection point here. Put 
our minimal reduction on full service Let's bring that speed down there we go come to a full stop excellent all right climb down the steps so we need to get past this point so we're almost a mile away from it now oh man do I need to go a bit further just a little bit further apparently I thought we were past it but apparently not get past that point there make sure we're heading in the right direction all right put our brakes back on here slow it right down shunters are actually super quick about stopping this isn't quite a shunter train but if you get one of those all right so we need to go not the way we came we need to go the other way so let's go ahead and switch that guy there that'll take us on to this track or is that going to be the right one? Uh, oh, I don't know now. I think so. Or is this the right way we need to go? I think it's this one. This is where it would be nice to have a an overview map, and I'm sure there is one. I just don't know which which button it is. Let me see if I can find it real quick here. Okay, so there is actually a way you can switch the tracks without having to do it manually. So you can do it uh, through not, the nine, apparently. Just the, not not F nine, which is what I thought I was thinking, but it's just nine. So I've switched some of the tracks already. Let's go ahead and head back into our locomotive here and we should be able to get back to the fuel area real quick here. So you can do it manually like this. You can come up here and switch or so here's my here's my lever right here so I can switch it and it tells me which direction I'm going as well. So which is a bit faster than um, what I was doing, but hey. One the one we just going to cat. I knew there was a way I just couldn't remember which button was. All right, take our brakes off here. give it the beans helps when you go in the right direction of course there we go let's go in the right direction here take our brakes off get up to speed here we go that's better 15 kph or mph i guess is what we're looking for oh that's a little fast just want to bring it down to 15k there we go oh it's 10 kilometers an hour that's in the service yard is that where we're going kind of Go ahead and just bring our speed down to 10 miles an hour, just in case. Here we go, 11. Here we go, 10. And let's keep it under 10, just to be on the safe side here. We're going uphill, so it should slow us down like we are here. Good. That's such a roundabout way to get there, it seems like. That's why it's nice to have this overview to see where you're going, where you need to be. So we need to be right over here. So that's that turntable we started off at. So we need to be over here. And I believe you can select a train like this as well. Look at this yard, though. That's crazy, eh? So now we're heading in this direction here excellent let's put our power back on here a little bit we can go a bit faster than six miles an hour 
Looks like our speed's still 15 over here, though. Which is fine. Might as well just maintain our speed. 10 miles an hour, this is good. Okay. Let's put our bell on. I think, th I believe you only need to put the bell on when you cross, when you go over crossings. I don't believe you need it in the yard. I, I used to know these rules a bit better, but I don't remember them at the moment, so I apologize. If you know, you go ahead and leave a comment below with the appropriate thing to do in this scenario. But all they said so far is uh, re sound your horn twice when you're going to be moving around, which is understandable. Although you can't really get snuck up on by a train, I don't think. But, you know, to each their own. Integrated function display. Ooh, look at that. So from here, you can't really see it, but as soon as you zoom in, resolution increases and you can see what's going up. It's going down. All right. Let's see if we can't get to this fuel stop here. Try and take it nice and easy because the yard is uh, 10 miles an hour. Speed limit. I think there is a cruise control. I just haven't set it yet. I think it's somewhere here. It's one of these. I'm not too worried about it, though. Alright, coming up in the fuel yard here. This is good. But this game definitely looks nicer than uh, Train Simulator 2019, I guess it is, which I also have. Because I bought Train Simulator 15, maybe, ages ago. And I still have it now. So I kind of just get the game just updates every time. So every time you, the game updates, you get a new version of it. Which is why I have Train Simulator 19, even though I never bought 19. Now, every time they do release the game, they do kind of update parts of it. And they're doing the same thing with this. When this changed from CSX Heavy Hall to uh, Train Sim World, they did make some updates. I haven't purchased any, though. So there might, I may if there's a Canadian version coming up or a Canadian line coming through. I just don't play the game enough to drop a significant amount of money into it. And that's primarily because initially when I got the game, it was just a question of, uh, let's go ahead and open the window up there. Initially when I got the game, it was a question of my computer not being able to handle it at all. So, like, it could, it could like, barely, like, I always had to be very, like, gentle with it, I suppose. 91 yards, coming up to the fuel deep depot here. All right. There's the fuel right there, looks like. Let's go ahead and put full service on the brakes here. Definitely past that point a little bit. Okay. They're like, you, you did it. Okay, we'll take that. Connect the hose and activate the refueling. So, let's grab the hose, which is on the other side, Ian. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. Pick up nozzle. Check. Connect the hose to the refuel. Uh, I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't quite go that far. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, uh, I believe this is where it is over here. Let's go ahead and move the train back real quick. I was a little surprised they accepted that. All right, so let's go change our direction to the back, take our brakes off. Let's just shimmy it back here a little bit. Now remember, you're moving a train, so you don't want to get too crazy with your uh, with your accelerations and brakes, especially in like a situation like this where you're kind of. All right, let's apply the brakes here. There we go. That should do it. it up and I think this is right here connect the hose Just begin refueling there we go 
I don't know how full it is. Can it, does it show me here? Oh, there it is right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be 5,000 or something. We'll find out here. Excellent. Objective complete. Let's go ahead and pick up the fuel nozzle. Let's go ahead and put... No, I don't want to put that back there. I want to put the fuel cap... Let's just run away with it. There we go. Fuel clap back on. There we go. Sit in the engineer's seat for further instructions. All right, let's see what else they got for us. I don't have a whole lot of time for much else. Let's go see what they got for us. Climb the horn twice and stop at the pit track. What is that? Oh, backwards. Yep, we're not going to have time for that. <laughs> or how far back is that? Let's just see. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Switch the track there, like so, and that'll take us right into the pit track right here. All right, I think we can actually do that. We're heading in the right direction, which is good. Take the brakes off. Let's put the power down. There we go, take the power off now. Slow down there a little bit. There we go. Release the brakes. Coming into the pit location here. Have to be careful not to engage the minimum reduction on here. And then once we hit that location, start applying our brakes. Don't need anything else other than just train brakes basically. Slowing down. Just need to bring her to a stop here then. Perfect. Set the headlights to off. 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 Excellent. What's next? Set the brake to neutral. Check. Climb aboard and he's moving. All right, well, I guess we finished that one too. Excellent. Well, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Once again, from the train yard here in CSX Heavy Hall slash Train Sim World. I should just call it Train Sim World. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go and off to work now. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I, knew, I, knew I like playing with trains, and I hope you do too. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.